TikTok is hands down the easiest way to make money online in 2024. I mean, we have teenagers, kids that are definitely not as smart as you making thousands of dollars a day in sales from anywhere in the world. We have kids literally reposting clips, making their own clips, making thousands of dollars a month. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that I've gathered over the past couple of months, having teaching people this and actually trying it myself and giving you guys the ultimate guide and actually starting to make money remotely in 2024. This should be the only video that you need to watch on YouTube. So let's get into it. Firstly, we need to figure out what option best suits you. There are plenty to choose from and I'm gonna cover them briefly because I don't want it to take too much time. I wanna get into the sauce. So the first option we have is the TikTok shop affiliate. Basically you get products from the TikTok shop for free sometimes, or you just pay for it, it's not a big deal. And then you make videos promoting that product and you get a simple commission per sale. We know that. We have a TikTok shop seller, which is also an incredibly lucrative opportunity that I feel like very few people are actually capitalizing on, but that also is the opportunity that probably takes the most amount of time and effort. So if you are a college kid or a high school kid or you have a job that requires a lot of time, I think affiliate will probably be the best bet for you. And we'll get into that obviously, but seller takes a lot of time and that's when you actually fulfill your own product to either ship and send your own products, fulfill them in your own house or wherever you may be, or you send them to a fulfillment center and they do everything for you, but you have to actually risk the upfront capital and chances that they might not sell. But that could be incredibly lucrative. I'll give you guys an example later in the video of how I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity. Thirdly, the creativity program beta is getting paid to post minute long videos. And this has seen a lot of backlash lately from people who have been re reposting just movie clips and very broad mainstream things getting copyrighted and ineligible for the creativity program, ineligible for the For You page. So we're gonna cover that as well. That takes a little more effort than the affiliate, but not as much as the seller. So that's a good middle point, but I also think that affiliate is the most lucrative if I had to be completely honest, but we're gonna cover all of them because it's about what suits you. Maybe you don't wanna show your face or even make videos with yourself being in them, even though you can do faceless for affiliate and you just wanna repurpose other people's clips. It's really up to you. So let's get into it. So let's say you wanna do the seller, which is by far the most lucrative, but tedious time consuming. I'm gonna give you guys an example of what I'm going to do only because I feel like no one has the time, the energy or audience to really do this. I'm going to make my own blue light glasses company. I'm going to compete with Iman Godzies and I'm going to go on the tick, well, not really compete because we both have our own audiences, it's whatever. But I'm gonna put mine on the TikTok shop and mine are gonna be called Sedlac. Blue light glasses are gonna be metal. They're gonna be super high quality. No, this is not an ad for them either. And I'm gonna crank up my affiliate commission to 70% for the first week. So that's gonna get incredible amounts of people wanting to affiliate my product because they're gonna make $30 per sale, which is really hard to do really hard to find a product that has that $30 per sale. So that's gonna get everyone to hop on the train as quickly as they can and they're all gonna wanna start pushing it and pushing it and pushing it as much as they can. And then week by week, you lower it 10%, 10%, 10% until you're about 20%. So that incentivizes people to really, really push your product. And that's how you get the snowball rolling down the hill to make a fucking snowman. So I'm going to be ordering the product. I'm gonna order probably 2000 units at first, send it to a 3PL so they can manage the, ship, manage the shipping and handling. And all I have to do is post about it. They ship it, they put my label on it, everything gets taken care of. And all I gotta do is post. That's the beauty of a 3PL. The only thing is that they take $2 per order, which is really nothing because if you've ever shipped anything, you will know how tedious it is to print the label, smack them on the thing, take them to the post office and dump piles of things into the post office bins. I've done it before, it's a pain in the ass. I would much rather pay someone $2 per order to do that. So that's an example of the seller thing. You can do it with anything as long as it's an actually good idea and you're willing to risk the upfront capital. I'll probably have to drop $15,000 upfront to have the capital, but I know it's gonna come back and in double and I'm okay with losing money at first if it means getting the momentum and a lot of people value money over momentum and it's really the opposite if you get momentum you're gonna get money whereas having money doesn't just give you momentum so keep that in mind for all future endeavors so that's seller secondly TikTok shop affiliate I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to monetize that right now so get ready get your notepad out actually no I'm gonna save that to the last one because I want you guys to really weigh out your options before you swipe out of the video Creativity program beta. It's gotten a lot trickier because TikTok is really cracking down on the creativity program. While you can still get paid a lot of money for getting views, simple as that. If you are blatantly stealing mainstream content, you aren't going to get pushed to the For You page. You're gonna get an ineligible for the For You page. So that means you have to be a little more creative, which is why they call it the creativity program. I think a personal brand is what absolutely everyone in the world should be trying to build. In 2024, there's no reason why you shouldn't have a mild social media presence other than a fear of judgment and you just 
are lazy. I don't know why you wouldn't. Have some sort of social media presence because you have no idea who's listening, who you can get connected to, and the opportunities that it can bring. So that is a guaranteed way to get paid for your views. Um, you, you might have to bring a little bit of energy and it might be a little, little harder. I can make a whole new video about personal branding and how you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month with a personal brand if this video gets 10,000 likes. <laughs> make it 5,000 likes. It's not that hard to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month with a personal brand. And there's no way you get copyrighted for it. So if you wanna do the creativity program beta, it's gonna be a lot harder. Don't do what everybody does. Everyone does fucking motivation clips. Everyone does sports. Think a little harder. We have a member in the Discord who has done $28,000 in his first month on creativity program beta. His name's Card Fraud. If you're in the Discord, you know him. He's a fucking G, his real name's Tristan. Uh, absolute stud. He's completely killed it and he's given us a lot of insight on how he's done it in such a short amount of time. So it's possible, but when it comes to picking your niche, don't just fucking throw yourself into a random niche. Really sit there and think like, what do I actually consume? Because if you consume it, a lot of other people will consume it. Potentially think about doing something where TikTok can't prove that it's not you. Like there's those people that build those little huts in the rainforest that you could literally just say it's you if you really wanted to, if they copyrighted it and say like, this is me, why are you taking down my video? I deeply believe in honesty and integrity. So don't just blatantly steal people's clips without giving them some sort of credit or using other people's info. I grew a faceless account to 20,000 followers in like two weeks because I was posting someone's content that they couldn't prove was me. I was tagging him in the videos, but I, I just said, this is my backup account. Why are you taking guys, why are you guys taking down my videos? Um, so don't do something so mainstream that they can be like, dude, you're not fucking Justin Bieber. You're not fucking Matthew McConaughey. You're not in this movie, you know? But if you can find someone in the sweet spot where you can make high quality clips of their videos and they can't prove that it's not you, that's the sweet spot right there. So creativity program beta takes a lot of effort because you're going to be need to be editing these videos quite a bit, whether that be on CapCut, whether that be on TikTok, it's gonna take some editing and that takes a lot of time. Whereas affiliate, which we're going to cover right now, literally takes no effort at all and can make you thousands of dollars per month, per day even. We have a member who did $100,000 in sales in his first month equaling about $30,000 in commission his first month after joining the course. He literally had no idea what it was before joining our course. And his first month, he made 30 grand profit, literally life-changing money. So affiliate, let's go over it. Say you found this product. It takes about three or four days to get it once you order it on the TikTok shop. Then you just make a bunch of videos selling it. And it doesn't even need to be on your personal account. You can literally make an account with zero followers, download the TikTok seller app, make an account, and you don't, Connect your account to your TikTok seller app and you don't even need 5,000 followers. You can do this with zero followers and it takes 30 minutes a day, sometimes even 10 minutes a day. If you're really that fucking busy for some reason and you don't have any time, it can literally take 10 minutes a day if you are actually dedicated and consistent. So you just make a bunch of videos promoting as many products as you can. I have several friends doing this. We teach you literally step by step by step by step in the course, but I don't wanna take up too much of your guys' time today. Um, so if you guys wanna join, obviously there will be a link below to that, but here's how to go viral. Here's how to get sales. First, captivating hook. Every single video, you should do an experiment. Try this out yourself. Have a video where you have a really good hook and a video with a medium hook. The video with the hook, even if they're the same fucking content, is going to do 10 times better than the video with no hook. So the first four to five seconds of your video is hands down the most important part of your video because that's what captivates the viewer's attention. They wanna seamlessly scroll into your video because they don't want to be taken out of their brain dead scrolling. You, I mean, TikTok especially, the attention spans are incredibly fried and they don't want to They don't want to use their brain at all. They wanna seamlessly scroll into a video that doesn't get them thinking that much. Depending on your audience, if you're selling a product like creatine or like a self-help product or anything that actually is being sold to an audience with a brain, you don't need to be as super analytical about the algorithm. But if you're selling something to the broad world, they wanna seamlessly scroll into the next video. Make it seamless, no pressure. They're in, make it as if they're watching your video before they even decide they wanna watch your video. No, they're already invested. What happens at the end? Add a little bit of mystery, something that makes them question like, okay, what's gonna happen at the end of this video? Mr. Beast does that flawlessly. He always gets people to stay to the end of the video because they know at the end there's gonna be a payoff. So captivate their attention with a good hook. Secondly, understand your audience. Like I just said, are you selling to 15 year olds? Or are you selling to 30 year olds with pets and families? Understand your audience and cater your content around who you are selling to. And how to go viral is just be controversial, be captivating. If you guys watch my whole video on TikTok shop affiliate, there's it's it's kind of, 
I made a video, it took me 15 seconds to post, it made me $1,800 in sales. And it was literally just me capping saying, some girl saw this charger in my car and she took off her pants. It's that simple. TikTok shop, the less you complicate it, the better. The more volume you get, the better. Um, just experiment, bro, trial and error. Try posting five times a day, try posting one time a day. See what happens, see what works best for you. All right, we got some bonus series. A lot of people don't really know about series because you do need, I think, either five or 10,000 followers. Basically what a series is, is like a course on TikTok. Um, I sold mine for 99 cents, but the point wasn't to make money. The point is to get views because TikTok makes money when you make money. So they push your videos so more people see your thing and make you make you money because they want to make money. Like I just said, that's why prod that's why shop videos get pushed so hard because they're trying to compete with Amazon and they want as much revenue as they possibly can. That's why everyone's views are fucked right now if you're not promoting a shop or a series because TikTok is running up the numbers. Series is basically a digital product. It's videos that you can sell in chronological order. And we had a, we had a girl in the Discord come on and give us some games. She did $16,000 her first month selling a series. Unbelievable. Um, if you're like me, my perspective was, I don't really care about getting the sales on this thing. I just wanted to get pushed to more people and attention is more valuable than money at this point in the world. So series is a great way if you have any knowledge, which you probably do, if you have any knowledge, any skills, something that someone doesn't know and would pay to have, you can put it in a series and I guarantee someone will pay you for the knowledge that you have. Whether you believe it or not, there's something that you know that people will pay for. Her series was about freedom law, I think is what it's called. Some about liberating yourself from like the actual society and not having a social security number and shit like that. She made a series on it to help people actually liberate themselves from the society we're in. Pretty crazy shit, um, but you can literally make it about anything right there. So hopefully this gives you guys a better understanding about how you can make money on TikTok in 2024. Um, if you guys want to really dedicate yourself to this because there are teens making hundreds, thousands of dollars every single day, there's no reason why you can't. We have live calls every single week. We have the most comprehensive, in-depth, elaborate course in the internet regarding TikTok money. I would love to see you guys in there. We have 9,200 members as of today. Price is increasing every two weeks because of the value that we're seeing being given to these people. So if you guys are ready to level up your life and get completely serious about making money on TikTok, you guys can join for free and look at the win section and see how many people are really winning for themselves. So hopefully, like I said, this helped you guys have a better understanding and I'll see you in the next one. Much love.